female stubborn fat, burning off that hard to budge areas. Let me give you the insights now as to make that happen for you. It's true. You being a female means your fat distribution and the way that your fat works in those stubborn areas is different from others. And you need to be following a different plan to what the guys need. As guys store fat on their stomach and lower back, the female body fat distribution puts it towards the hips, the thighs, and the butt. And what I'm here for you today in this episode is to make sure that one, you mobilize that fat, two, you transport it over, to three, being able to burn it, or technically say, oxidize that fat for use for energy. With the uniqueness of female fat, it works with the receptors that are on those fat cells, but also the hormones in your body. And these two work like a lock in key scenario. And this leads me to having two different receptors that you're going to be concerned about. One, the beta receptors, and two, the alpha adrenoreceptors. And then we want to be able to use the catecholamines, the hormones that can activate these receptors and give you the fat burning that you want. These catecholamines are some of your major fat burning hormones. And what they are is normally, as you know, adrenaline or epinephrine or norepinephrine. And here's the kicker. When you bond and activate those catecholamines to the beta receptors, you switch on fat burning. When you bind and activate to the alpha receptors, you decrease fat burning. And this relates so strongly to you being a woman and being able to burn that body fat off because the lower body has more alpha receptors, making it harder to burn that fat. And it's also important why you don't need to solely focus on your calorie intake and just reducing that, as it's the hormonal environment that's also going to give you great results, especially targeting these areas. And as well as your catecholamines, the hormones that are in play are your estrogen, progesterone, growth hormone, insulin, and leptin. And what I see so many women getting wrong so often is their training. Their training is all wrong. You can only be anabolic or catabolic at the one time. But what you want to be able to do is burn body fat and not burn muscle tissue. And this is why weight training is so important for you. With a properly designed weight training program, you're gonna be able to burn body fat and build shape not losing that precious muscle that can keep your metabolism running and give you the look that you really want. The three big points that I want you to take away from this episode. Number one, lower your carb intake, especially when leading into your workouts. This is going to stop insulin from blunting the fat burning effect. Number two, eat more fibrous vegetables, your greens. These foods like cabbage, watercress, spinach, and broccoli are going to give you a fantastic amount of nutrients and also help clear away estrogen. And three, don't always train hard and fast. I like to have a little bit of yin and yang going on. Some balance is crucial and is very important to making sure that you deal and cope with stress. If you want more of these tips and me keep giving you the plans that are proven to work, then hit subscribe now. I'm gonna keep giving you the weekly updates that you can use to transform your body.